That's lunchtime, everybody. Excuse me while I pop over to China for a quick bite. You have my cell number. Any killers feeling especially trigger happy today are welcome to hit me up. Okay, math. If he's traveling at Mach 20, it'll take 10 minutes tops to reach his favorite takeout place in Sichuan. So, just to be clear, we've absolutely ruled out missiles? Are you kidding? Even if we had access to that kind of hardware, he can break the sound barrier. Well, grading! My homework even came back with a doodle on it. All the things considered, concept, you have to admit he's not doing a bad job. I know, right? Like he tutored me on algebra, and I killed it on our pop quiz the next day. Yeah, kind of a shame. We get our grades up just in time for the world to end. Well, college wasn't happening either way. Flying super cephalopod bent on world destruction? Check. Impossible target? Check. But he might be the best damn teacher any of us has ever had. Forget that we're all would-be assassins, and that most people probably see us as average garden-variety third-years. At least on the surface. Underneath it all, though, Class 3E has always been different. Yo, Nagisa. <laughs> Look alive, little man. Time to put our money where our mouth is and get this done. So we know the octopus's face changes color depending on what mood he's in. Have you been keeping track like I asked? Give me the specs. You got it. I guess for starters, green stripes mean he feels cocky. So that's something. When we give a wrong answer, his face goes dark purple. When we answer correctly, bright red. What's interesting is every day after lunch, without fail... Blah, blah, uh, whatever. We got more than enough. When his guard's down, that's when we make our move. Well, at least you do. Yeah, about that, I... Don't start! We've been over this! Worried about your transcript? Wake up, dude! We're 3E! Everyone expects us to be thugs and murderers anyway! You know what the E stands for, right? End of the line.
Think they shuttle us up this mountain every day for the view? Sorry to burst your bubble, man, but society don't want us. When do nobodies like us have a shot at the kind of cash at stake here? This is our one-way ticket out of the boonies! No guts, no glory. Let this be your moment to shine. Huh? Man up. Go make a name for yourself, huh? Uh, <laughs> huh? Best of luck. Try not to blow it. You hear about Nagisa? They're chucking him to E-Class. <laughs> Shocking. What else were they gonna do? That's one less name in my contacts, I'll tell you that. Yeah, how messed up is it that we even know someone like him? with the missile a souvenir from a strike force that tried to bring me down over the sea of japan must be lonely spending your life in the crosshairs quite the opposite actually reminds me of how amazing i am <laughs> now then inside for fifth period please sure there's no denying it. He is amazing. Confident, capable. Powerful enough to make people stand up and take notice, even if they are trying to kill him. Everything I'm not. Everything I'll never be. no matter how hard I try, or how many chances I'm given. Because of you, I received the worst teacher's evaluation of my career, you unteachable brat. As far as I'm concerned, this campus can't eject you fast enough. Visible to him as I am to everyone else. Um, sir, question. Huh? Of course. Fire away, Kayano. Do we always have to call you, sir? You haven't given us your name, and I think we need one. Uh, I mean, it'd be kind of awkward if we don't call you anything, right? Ah, well now... Oversight. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm, trouble is, I don't have the sort of name you just give to people. Why not pick one for me? What could go wrong? Just focus on meter and syntax. Okay. I'll take a short break while you take up your pins.
<laughs> Seems the muse favors Nagisa. <laughs> Every day after lunch, without fail, he gets sleepy. I can tell he checks out when his face turns pink. Kayano's question threw him off. He seems distracted. All signs point to this being the right moment. Prep school flunkies know how to slip between the cracks. It's what we do. Parents and teachers are always yapping at us to apply ourselves. Apply ourselves. What did I say about thinking outside the box? All right, then. Here goes nothing. Huh. Never saw a suicide bomber coming, did you? Jurassica! Mm -hmm. What did you make Nagisa do? What? I'm sorry, you have a better idea? I gave him a modified toy grenade filled with those stupid BBs and a spoonful or two of gunpowder so they'd scatter at a high enough speed. Don't worry, it wasn't enough to kill anybody. I'll pitch in on his medical bills. Huh? Whoa. He doesn't even have a mark on him. And what the hell is this membrane? Did the body It's like... not a body, it's a husk. Uh. I shed my skin once a month. I wrapped it around your classmate to protect him from the blast. <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you didn't see this coming. Uh. Uh. Terasuka, Yoshida, Muramatsu. Okay, that's a face we haven't seen before. Black must mean pissed. This was your doing, wasn't it? Uh, us? It was all Nagisa.
the nameplate off my house. Here's the deal, kiddos. The agreement I have with your government forbids me from harming you. But there's a catch. If you pull another irresponsible stunt like that again, there's nothing that says I can't harm someone else. Family, friends, everyone in the world except for you if I feel like it. Suddenly, it's clear how hard this is going to be. We can't run, we can't hide. Slipping between the cracks isn't an option. The only way out is to kill him. Go on! Threaten us! I ain't afraid of no squid! Where do you get off blowing up the moon? We got rights, you know! Call us irresponsible! We're just defending ourselves! I know that. I'm not calling you irresponsible for trying to kill me. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, Nagisa here gets full marks for technique. His composure was simply outstanding. However, none of you cared if he was injured. Not even Nagisa himself, it seems. Students with that attitude aren't fit to assassinate anyone. You must believe yourself worthy of your target. That means taking pride in what you do, in yourselves, and each other. All of you are more than the sum of your parts. Chewed out at Mach 20, reassured by a tentacle wag. It's a bizarre education. But one I think is starting to grow on me. I guess when you spend your whole life being invisible, well, it's something to feel like you're being seen. <laughs> If you, if you could sacrifice a little bit of your time, give the children the tools they need to succeed. Such wonderful tentacles. With hands like these, you could reach them. I know it in my heart. Here's a puzzler for you, Nagisa. Given that I have no intention of being killed, though of course I have every intention of enjoying our time together before the planet goes kerplooey, what exactly are you going to do about it? Uh, that's the big question, isn't it? It's not like we have a lot of experience figuring out how to save the world.
I have a feeling, though. One way or another, we're gonna be fast learners. I think you'll find out I can do plenty, sir. Just you wait and see. <laughs> That's the spirit. No one leaves until I'm vanquished! Way to go, Nagisa! This is totally balls! Yep, we're assassins. Our target is our teacher. Wipe it clean. Man, Wipe it clean. I don't want to be a killer. Uh, you're so screwed. We still don't know his name. How do you say unkillable in Japanese? Koro-sen-nai? Koro-sensei! Koro-sensei? That feels right. Just us and Koro-sensei. Here, in our assassination classroom.